when I first met Becky, I came in as um, really a third teacher in, in the classroom and I didn't have any experience with our population and um, this was 20 years ago and at that time um, not a lot of people had experience uh, with children with autism but when I stepped in the classroom with Becky I think the first thing that struck me was how confident she was in the abilities of our students um, it wasn't anything that I had found anywhere else even in my limited experience um, I was sort of uh, not so much told but given the impression that um, it was accepted that our students couldn't learn and Becky was the first one that expected our students to learn. Becky really knew how to look at a kid and look at their deficits and really understand how to tease out what is it what is it that's causing this kid to have these problems why is this kid throwing themselves down on the floor at snack time why is this kid rolling on the floor during circle time and what Becky had the natural ability to do was figure that out this kid needs picture symbols this kid needs a different kind of a chair this kid needs to sing the same song every day at the beginning of the circle to help their day to help their day be functional and that that drive for her to be able to look at a kid and watch them and be able to inherently know what it is that they need really kind of is a special gift for her and she has taken that drive to this the place where we are today we first met becky five days after matthew was diagnosed uh, um, it was the summer before Matthew turned three and he got a formal diagnosis on a Wednesday and the following Monday um, a mutual friend had introduced us to Becky and she was sitting in our kitchen stopping our heads from spinning and um, already had a plan for working with this little guy um, she was in between her master's studies and her doctor and uh, in the fall when she went back to school, Matthew began to work with her sister, Nikki. So, Becky and Nikki literally fell in our lap. And it was, it was a blessing and it remains a blessing. How can we really thank Becky? Um, you know, we've said thank you a thousand times, but it doesn't even begin to uh, really express the hope um, that she has given to our children, our child uh, on the spectrum, on all the kids on the spectrum, and really to the families as well, that you know, they're not facing life's worth of um, just isolation and expense, that there are options. Uh, there are many things that the, the children can do. They can grow, they can uh, learn to do, uh, be productive citizens. You know, when we were given Katie's, <laughs> now I'll start to cry, when we were given Katie's diagnosis at the clinic, Cleveland Clinic, we were basically were told there, and this was in the late 90s, you might as well just put her in an institution. I mean, even as late as then when, when public services were depopulating the institutions, we were told, because she had a fairly severe diagnosis, She's, she, she was fairly severe, uh, put her in an institution. And, um, you know, that was a long drive back from Cleveland when we got that diagnosis, but with the vision and hope that really Becky gave you know, our family and gave our child, we could see that there are other options for Katie where she can be happy and productive. And, uh, you know, and we see that for many, many, many kids who have come through the program, how they've, they've gone on and uh, they've been able to learn how to manage aspects of uh, autism and, and be and do things that were much beyond what we ever were to expect. Oliver was 25 months old when he was diagnosed um, being autistic. We, around 19 months, um, Oliver had about 50 words, but then slowly started to stop speaking. And um, it only took about three weeks to lose all of his language. And at that point, we were aware something was wrong. So we took um, the I guess the normal measures of um, we got in touch with Help Me Grow to move 
in that direction. Um, we got an appointment set up with Nysonger and it took about six months to get through all of those processes to get the diagnosis. But that was in the end of October and by the beginning of December we had a placement at Oak Stone and things were really moving forward. We had worked with Oliver um, through my mother-in-law who's a speech therapist and things that we had researched and found and um, got him starting to speak some words again but it wasn't until he was actually at Oak Stone that his language really started to ex explode again and um, that structure and setting of the classroom really pushed his limits but um, it really evolved him into the fun nature loving erratic kid that he is now. <laughs> Jake, um, he's always been a very active child. Um, he, uh, he's been a part of the cross country team uh, this year. Now he's a freshman. Um, he's been a part of the cross, cross country team. He uh, was able to, he was given the opportunity um, to go to the state meet. Uh, he's, he's a fast runner. <laughs> um, uh, probably one of his, his biggest and favorites is that he was able to be a part of the Oakstone basketball team this year um, and there were tryouts and he was very very nervous that's just all he wanted was to make the basketball team um, and he was fortunate enough to make it um, he uh, was just so excited and so enthusiastic um, the coaches really worked with him um, He's a pretty decent defender. You you put him on on a guy. He's he's on there before the referee blows a whistle. Um, offense is a little different story, um, <laughs> but uh, Jake would not have that opportunity at any other school. One of the things that was so attractive to us is that it was truly a school. It was uh, it was an educational based environment. Uh, you know, at the time we were being told so many different things about um, our children and what they could and could not do. Becky always believed that there was more uh, and that there was so much more that our kids could do and could accomplish. And, and we believed that as well. And and a lot of that was that they, they can read, they can do math, they can uh, adapt in a social environment and, and do well in those environments if they were only given the opportunity to do that.